My name is J.C. Goodwin. I'm with Central Virginia Electric Cooperative, and I work in the operations department at Colleen. I'm here this morning to give a uh, brief tutorial on pad-mounted transformers. All right, for those of you who do not know what a transformer actually does, the name is somewhat self-explanatory. A transformer actually transforms high-voltage electricity, which on Central Virginia's operating system is either 7,200 volts or 14,400 volts. Inside of this transformer, there are windings, internal windings, and through those windings, the voltage is stepped down to a 120-240 scenario, which is what residential consumers use in their homes. You may ask, what is a pad-mounted transformer? Well, it would be this device right here. The reason it's called a pad-mounted transformer is for pretty obvious reasons. It's designed to sit on the ground on a pad. The biggest difference between a pad-mounted transformer and an overhead transformer is that uh, this unit is designed to be mounted on a pole and most all of its components are exposed. Where in a pad-mounted transformer, the unit is sealed when this lid is closed. We've now taken the time to come out to a setup that would be very similar to a residential uh, connection. One individual transformer serving one individual meter. Uh, as you can see, this unit is secured with a ring lock that is disposable so we can access this transformer. And then there's a special uh, socket that we use, a pinna-headed socket that allows us to be able to access the transformer. This transformer is a live transformer. There is actually wires that are connected that are energized serving this meter behind me. The way this works is our primary voltage enters through this cable right here. On this cable is 14,400 volts. It enters through this H1A bushing, goes through the transformer, through the windings, comes out on this side, which are the Z-bars, and from the Z-bars, it goes through connection points. It leaves our cable, goes to the meter, and serves the customer with 120, 240 voltage. As with uh, most electrical services, underground services, there, there's usually only a few things that are going to go wrong. Uh, typically, we'll either have some type of cable failure, or there will be some type of uh, short circuit potentially on the overhead part of the lines, because most underground lines are served from an overhead, existing overhead line, and then they come underground to the residents. And then transformers also have their own internal fuse. And what that fuse basically does, it's if there's a faulty condition inside of the transformer, obviously that fuse would blow and allow the transformer to basically separate itself from the secondary side to the primary side and not cause a larger outage. Central Virginia employees do face challenges from time to time. Obviously, we have a black widow spider that is in the transformer and an obvious mouse nest that is in the transformer. Typically, spiders run the risk, you know, we don't want anybody to get bitten. And obviously, with mice around, you run the risk of having snakes in these things as well. And there are quite a few instances where we open transformers and there are snakes inside. 